Hey again everyone and welcome to the Comparing Temperatures Lab instructional video. This video is going to explain to you what you need to do in order to complete the Comparing Temperatures Lab. The first thing that you need to do is to gather all of the materials that are listed on page 184 in your textbook. Take a look at my message board for some tips about what materials to replace what is listed in the book. Before you start the experiment, you should create a table just like the one that is shown on page 185. You're going to need one for your hot water beaker and one for your cold water beaker. This is an example of how you can set it up in your notebook. To start the experiment, take your first baggie and fill it with a half cup of room temperature water. Then take your other baggie and fill it with a half a cup of pancake syrup or in my case I used corn syrup. Then seal the bag and get out as much air as you possibly can. Your next step is to measure out one cup of hot water from the tap. You're going to need one cup of water for each of two glasses. Fill the water into your cups and then put your thermometer in and record the starting temperature of both glasses of hot water. Take each of your baggies, one of water and one of syrup, and place it into the cups and you're going to record the starting temperature of the containers. Then record the temperature every two minutes from this point on and record it into the table that you created before you started your experiment. Be sure to take the temperatures every two minutes. Once you've completed all of your recording of data for your hot water beakers, now you're ready to start your cold water. Place a cup of cold water into each of two glasses and add some ice cubes. Then you're going to add your bag of syrup and your bag of water directly from the hot water beakers into the cold water beakers and record the starting temperature. Then record the temperature again every two minutes until the temperatures even out. So now you understand how to complete the lab. Now to write your lab report, a few helpful tips would be to print and read the rubric from the beginning of the lesson. It tells you exactly how I'll be grading your assignment. Make sure you type your lab report in Microsoft Word or OpenOffice Writer. You must include two tables and two graphs, and you must submit your files to the Dropbox at the end of the lesson. You'll be creating two tables one table for your hot water beakers and one table for your cold water beakers. You're also going to need to create some graphs. One graph for your hot water beakers and one graph for your cold water beakers. If you're not sure how to create the tables or the graphs, please check my message board because I do have some step-by-step -step directions and videos for how to create these using all of the programs that are required. If you still have questions or don't understand how to do something, please feel free to send me an email or give me a call. Thanks for joining me today and always let me know if you have any questions.